Morning, guys. Let me shut this door. Good morning. So I promised you guys I was going to do a day, full day of eating. What do you want? Just freaking out. Full day of eating video for you guys. Um, so for those of you who don't know, my diet has um, kind of changed recently. Sorry, I'm making my three-year-old some waffles real quick. So I'm going to talk to you while I do that. My diet's changed recently. Um, I'm getting into more ultra running training. Um, my marathon's getting close, and I've been reading a lot about a plant-based diet, um, vegan. Um, I also been reading about staying away from dairy and, and that kind of stuff. So um, vegan, kind of vegan, but I think fish, some fish, fresh fish is good for you. So, um, and because I would be going vegetarian slash vegan, um, purely for the reasons of um, running performance and my racing, that it's not because of any religious reasons or animal reasons, um, I will still be eating some fish because I do believe in the health benefits of fresh fish. So my cat wants some lemon. And if those of you have, who have seen my previous video about um, going off keto because of um, high cholesterol, um, high cholesterol runs in my family and I went to the doctor and my cholesterol was pretty high um, and they needed me to get that down. Um, and I really don't want to have to go on medication. So I went off keto and um, probably about a few months ago now and have taken the cholesterol and high fat out of my diet. And I've been feeling good. Um, I haven't gained um, any weight. My running's been really good um, with a higher carb diet, lower fat. And so now I'm kind of starting to transition into um, more plant-based and so I wanted to show you guys a full day of eating um, for my no meat vegetarian slash vegan plant-based eating so for those of you if any of you are runners out there who have been thinking about transitioning into a plant-based diet and what it could do for you um, I hope you enjoy this video um, oh my water is boiling so for breakfast I'm making some oatmeal. I got all kinds of goodies here that I'm going to show you. So I have some organic oats right here. I never measure anything. Kind of just eyeball it there. That should be probably too much actually. So I turn that down to low. Let me get a spoon. Just gonna stir that a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to stir that. I'm going to let that simmer a little bit on low. And then I have some stuff I'm gonna put in it. I have some shredded coconut, maca powder, cinnamon, some PB2, peanut butter, and some frozen strawberries, and a banana that I'm gonna put into all that. And that's gonna be my breakfast. Um, and that should hold me over at least until lunch, if not more. Um, oatmeal is super good for you, especially if you're a runner. Um, it keeps you full, it gives you tons of good carbohydrates. Anyway. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Did I zoom in on accident? Ooh, I'm sorry. No. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and if you are a vegan or vegetarian and you're a runner, please comment below and give me any tips or any meal ideas, recipes, um, what you do, how your training is. I just want to talk to you. So, um, comment below because I would love to hear from other runners who are plant-based um, I'm excited to see how it goes but I'm also a little nervous and my husband my husband he's like a meat and potatoes guy like he's all about meat I haven't even really told him that I'm cutting out meat yet and I'm really scared I'm scared so if you have I'm being quiet because I don't want to know okay okay so I added about a tablespoon of coconut, teaspoon of cinnamon, and maca powder. And I added in my strawberries, and I'm just gonna stir that around. It smells so good. I might add in a little almond milk to 
because I don't like mine super thick. Sorry. Oh. Mm. And then I'm going to add in my PB2 and my strawberries. school um, it's a pretty busy day today um, Haley has a field trip which I am attending with her um, to a pumpkin patch and then um, she has a school party after that um, which I had to make some snacks for Nora has school at, from um, 9 to 12 so I'm gonna have to go pick her up and then Haley gets out at 2 and then we're having a play date um, for my mom's group at my house. Um, we're going to be decorating pumpkins um, from 3 to 5. So, going to be kind of a crazy day. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm dressed up as a cowgirl. Um, I don't have my cowgirl hat on yet, but I got my plaid t shirt. My boots are on. I'm a cowgirl today. Hi, Haley. Ah. Did you have fun in your field trip? Mm. What are you eating? Mm. A rice crispy treat? Yeah. Oh. Hi guys. So we're at Haley's school and um, just finished her field trip. I just ate an orange or um, a cutie, one of those little ones. I ate it. I ate it and it was good. And Haley just had an apple and we're just hanging out. Okay, back in my car. I hope you guys can see me okay. Um, just got out of grocery outlet and the dollar store. Got some more stickers and craft stuff for decorating our pumpkins today. Um, I got some good stuff at the grocery outlet for um, my new diet. And I'm going to show you guys what I got when I got get home. Super excited to show you. Um, I still have to go by Safeway because they didn't have everything I need. I need to go get some coconut milk, a couple other things. So I'm going to run over to Safeway. And then I got to go get Nora from school. So, um, yeah, just giving you an update. All right, we are back home. It is 12.30, I'm so hungry. Um, hold on! My three-year-old really wants to decorate a pumpkin, but we have to wait till her older sister gets home. So, I'm gonna show you what I got at the store real quick, um, and then I'm gonna make lunch. So, I got some romaine, mushrooms. I'm going to make a vegetable stew. I don't know if I'm going to make that tonight or tomorrow, but I got stuff for a few different recipes. Adame. This is frozen. You could um, steam it, roast these. Super yummy. A great snack. I got a bunch of turmeric powder. This is good in tons of different things. Really good for you. Um, frozen strawberries. Um, vegetable broth. A couple things of that. I got some veggie burgers. These are Amy's um, black bean. Wait, I thought these were black bean. Oh, never mind. These are the classics. Veggie burgers. I got this Japanese soba noodle um, vegetarian thing. Um, this is if I'm like really crunched on time and I need to eat really quickly. I don't do frozen meals um, usually that that often, but. It, they're good to have on hand just in case. Um, a big thing of broccoli and some more. Oh, I didn't know I bought two things of veggie burgers. Well, black bean chipotle veggie burgers and regular. Oh well. Oh well. Okay. Anyway, I got some whole grain elbow macaroni. This is I'm gonna make a vegetarian. I'm, I'm vegetarian and vegan mac and cheese with cashews, butternut squash. I'm going to show you how I do that. Um, super yummy. I got some flaxseed meal. This You can add to a bunch of different things. Really good. Good source of fiber. A little protein in there. Good um, healthy fat. I got nutritional yeast. This you can add to tons of different things also. Um, you can make no cheese sausage. You can put this on salads. Um, and it has eight grams of protein and only 60 calories um, for a fourth cup. 
It's got three grams of fiber and tons of vitamins and minerals, um, B6s, folate, potassium, calcium. This stuff is really good if you are vegetarian, vegan, um, to add to your meals. Nutritional yeast, yum. Try that out. I got tons and tons of coconut milk, light coconut milk, regular coconut milk. I make coconut curries um, with coconut milk and super good. Soy sauce, good to have on hand, some bay leaves, some whole grain spaghetti noodles. Hold on, honey, okay? I got some butternut squash soup. I love butternut squash and it is this, I usually make it homemade, but it's it, it's also nice to have quick meals <laughs> and um, it's that time of year where soups, stews, all that good stuff is so good. Big thing of curry powder, we're gonna make curry. Fresh ginger, there's ginger in so many things. Um, organic sweet potatoes, I'm gonna use that in my in chili, in my stew. Okay, hold on. I got some lentils and um, a few cans of garbanzo beans or chickpeas, as you call it. These are used in tons of different recipes also. Um, so those are really good. Oh, and for fun, some window stickers. Gel clings is what they're called. This is what's gonna keep my girls busy later. Okay, what else? Is that it? That's it. Wait, oh, chili powder. <laughs> so that's my little grocery haul for today. Okay, I'm gonna go make lunch. I think I'm gonna have a veggie burger with sauteed onions and mushrooms and some tomato, lettuce. That should be good for lunch, so. Okay, let's do this. All right. I got this um, whole wheat sprouted bread little romaine and some mustard under there. Um, my mushrooms and I love I love lots of mushrooms and onion sauteed. It's like I could eat bowls of that. A veggie patty and then I'm gonna cut up some tomato and avocado to put on there too. Yeah. Alright. Nora, what are you doing? Check it out. We're getting ready to decorate pumpkins, huh? Oh boy. Look all this fun stuff we have. We have and stickers. we got some caramel popcorn, pretzels, yeah. graham crackers. And then in here, I'll show you what else I have for snacks. This is what I'm probably going to be eating. So we're supposed to be having some moms and kids come over to decorate pumpkins. We'll see who shows up. Um, I made some broccoli, carrot sticks, and ranch. Um, I have a yogurt ranch, regular ranch. I'm gonna try to stay away from them, but we'll see. <laughs> but I'll be probably munching on the veggies. We might have a cup of coffee too, cause it is three o'clock and it's time to get a second wind. So um, I'll let you guys know, but we're about to have some fun and get our fall on. Well, you know what I was thinking? The arms. If, if, if your mom, we can stick the, um, oh, yeah. cut, cut a little slit and stick the arm in it, oh, then it won't I come out. I need a white then. Okay, here's one. Yeah, we can do that. I'll go get a knife. Okay. And Nora's yeah, just having fun with that, glue. Oh, she colored their arms. I love that. Nora's having Yeah, just... wait, that's plenty. That's
I got everything in here. I added all the vegetables. I added um, the uh, fourth cup of red wine, fourth cup of flour, um, Italian seasoning. Uh, what else was in there? Soy sauce. I'm gonna put the, dis the recipe for this in the description if you want to make this. It's really easy. Um, and so I'm gonna bring this to a boil and let it simmer for like 45 minutes. And it's gonna get nice and thick because of the flour and the potatoes. And then we'll see what it looks like. But it smells amazing. Like this smells the broth. And it's so healthy. It's like I know everything that went into this and I cannot wait to eat it. So yay, we'll see how it turns out. Hey guys, so I'm upstairs, um, it is late, I'm doing some um, video editing, the girls are asleep, I'm munching on some animal crackers, and then I'm gonna go to bed, but um, thank you guys so much for watching this video, hope you enjoyed it, um, I'm gonna leave recipes in the description box, and um, if any of you guys are vegan, vegetarian, plant-based runners, um, leave a comment and give me any tips or recipes or um, your channel, I would love to follow you. So anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and um, for more videos, please subscribe to my channel, would love your support. I will talk to you guys later. Hope you guys have a great night and we'll see you at the next video. Okay, bye. Say bye, Piper. She's chewing on a shoe. Piper. What are you doing? You're not supposed to have that shoe. Are you gonna get in trouble? Piper. Okay.